Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to connect Power BI to Google BigQuery, specifically using Google's public data sets. If you've ever wanted to unlock incredible data visualization possibilities using vast live datasets from Google, this is your guide. By the end of this video, you'll be confidently linking Power BI with BigQuery, ready to create reports and dashboards with public data, no matter your skill level. Let's dive right in. First things first, open up Power BI on your computer. If you're brand new to Power BI, don't worry, just find it in your Start menu or Apps list and launch it. Starting in Power BI's clean, intuitive workspace, we're going to focus on the Home tab. The Home tab is your main hub, it's where you'll find the most essential functions like loading data and creating your first visualizations. Once you're at the home screen, notice the Get Data button, it's usually top left, and looks a bit like a database cylinder with an arrow. We're clicking here because Get Data is Power BI's way to bring information in from all sorts of places, whether it's Excel, web sources, or big cloud databases like BigQuery. After you click Get Data, Power BI will show you a list of all the different data sources it supports, from simple files to more advanced connections. So here's what you need to do. In the search box at the top, simply type Google. Typing it in narrows the options instantly, no need to scroll through everything manually. You'll see Google BigQuery appear in the list. Now select Google BigQuery from the results. Think of this step as picking your highway, you're choosing which data route to take into Power BI. Once you select it, click the Connect button. A small pop-up may appear and that's normal. Power BI is basically asking if you're sure you want to connect to Google BigQuery since it's an external cloud database. Go ahead and hit OK. At this point, you'll be prompted to sign into your Google account, the same one you use for accessing Google BigQuery. If this part feels a little technical, that's totally fine. Just enter your credentials and allow access. You might see a loading screen or a spinning animation for a moment. The platform is just getting everything linked up behind the scenes. Once your login is confirmed, Power BI will take you to the BigQuery navigator. Here, you can browse all the public datasets available within Google BigQuery. It's really quite amazing. You're looking at live, cloud-based databases that cover everything from world population stats to airline flight data. If you're trying this for the first time, don't worry about exploration. Feel free to poke around the different dataset folders, or if you have a specific public dataset in mind, you can locate it by name. After selecting the dataset you want to use, just hit Load and Power BI will take care of the rest. Within a few moments, your BigQuery public data is fetched and ready to be visualized right inside Power BI. If you ever see an error or warning, double-check your Google sign-in or make sure your internet connection is stable. These little hiccups can happen and are easy to resolve. And that's it. You've successfully connected Power BI to Google BigQuery and tapped into a world of public data. From here, you can start building visuals, designing dashboards, and gaining insights, all powered by Google's enormous dataset resources. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a specific dataset you'd like to see in a future walkthrough. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new Power BI or data visualization tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy analyzing.